guys, so, I have good news and I have bad news. Um, the bad news is, is that the job at Famous Footwear did not work out. They were lying to me or they were exaggerating how many people they needed because I only worked one day the first week came in did you know started doing like the paperwork online stuff you know that kind of thing and then I never heard from them I didn't hear from them I didn't hear from them and it kind of ended up working out because I had a lot of other stuff that I needed to do but I find, and like, I would try to call the store, because that's the only number that I had. And the store would just, like, uh, it would, the store phone would ring, 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 and there was, like, no answer at all. And so I was just like, okay. I don't know what's going on, but, um, and so I ended up, like, I didn't hear from them. I didn't hear from them well when my next day would be, and I'm assuming part-time, which is, you know, well, and I don't remember if I said this in my previous video, but, like, when I was interviewing, the gal who interviewed me was saying something about, you know, are you okay with 10 hours a week or whatever, and I'm like, sure, yeah, that's fine. You know, it's all because it's adjusted and can get together and give me a decent paycheck. I only worked one day, and I finally, like, I texted, remember me saying how there were two gals who were talking to me, who were texting me, that kind of thing? Well, I contacted one of the gals, finally, and I was like, Hey, I haven't heard from my store manager. What do I need to do? And she said, we'll just call the store, blah, 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 blah. So I tried calling the store. Could not get through to anybody. And so I, I basically gave up. And I was just like, because... I, if I'm going to be working part-time, I need part-time hours. I don't want another on-call job like what I had previously when I came back from trying to visit Keith the first time. You know, I could only get a couple very on-call type jobs, which sucks. And, you know, not worth the gas money and all that. So, I finally ended up, because at the time, like I said, I was fairly busy, and I, I took my, uh, my old MacBook to the Apple store, I had to wipe everything down and all that, and cleared out and turned it in for recycling and all that and I had other things that were going on that I needed to do so and that's probably at least partly my bad but like I could not get a hold of anybody at that store and so I was like so I finally uh made of I finally just texted the gal back who I had been communicating with. And I was like, I was like, I have not heard from 
the store manager. I've only worked one day. I don't think this job is going to work out for me. Will you please let them know? So, funny thing is, 15 minutes after I send that text, I get a phone call from the store manager, from the manager of the store. And she was just yelling at me like she was mad. And I'm assuming that, because the gal who I had apparently been talk, texting with was like the district manager or something. I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm still not entirely sure what her title was. But apparently she was a bit higher up in the scale on the ladder. And so I'm assuming she called the store manager and was like, why did you not get a hold of Julie? Why is she unsure about what she's, what's going on and all that? And so then the gal caught me, but instead of being apologetic and trying to work things out, she been proceeded to tear into me. And she wouldn't listen to me. Like when I told her that I tried calling the store, I couldn't get a hold of the store. I didn't know what email to use. I didn't know, I you know, like I didn't know what to, what to do. And then she was, and then she started blaming me for having for making plans and I'm like I had nothing going on why are you you know and she wouldn't listen to me so I eventually just hung up on her so I guess forget famous footwear for applying there and but the good news is so a few weeks ago I heard from the solicitor, from the solicitor that's been helping, mainly talking to Keith, but, you know, helping me too, sort of, even though I'd never heard from her before a few days ago, but she sent me the application for the visa that we're working towards so that I can live over there. And she was, she was like, and she said, just read through it, make sure everything looks okay, send, you know, reply back, blah, blah, blah. And then I've been sending her a few documents and stuff, passport pages, that kind of thing. And so I'm, yeah, so the short side is I will be going to England. And I got to see the proposed date of me leaving here and getting over there. It's sometime in July, so that is not far away. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just excited. And now I understand why the famous or job didn't work. I mean, yes, I would like to be working. I would like to be earning money to, you know, but I mean, I have been in near constant contact with, with the solicitor and I finally know her name. And I finally know her, um, you know, we've been emailing each other back and forth. I've been sending her stuff and different things. And so I'm going. And the other thing I did, and I always wait, like, way too late probably, but I got it done before the deadline, but I got my taxes done. So I got that all taken care of and everything. And I got to go out with my friend Lisa. 
um, to have dinner to celebrate, you know, because she's been rooting for me for a long time. I was told my other friend, Amanda. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of been a, the past month or two, it's kind of been very much of a, um, you know, one side goes down, the other side goes down kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, it's happening. So I'm going through all my stuff. I'm putting stuff in. I still have a tote in my room that I'm putting stuff in. And I kind of decide like what, what I need, but you know, I'm very glad that I got my old laptop taken care of, so I don't have to worry about that. And, uh, yeah, so I'm very excited. And, uh, I just haven't, I'm not like the bouncing around the room kind of excited. But I am definitely excited. I've been waiting for a long time for this to happen and I can't wait to get to England. I can't wait to start filming over there. They're showing you guys what Exeter looks like, what the fanciness, go on tours, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so I'm very excited. Oh, the other thing I need to let you guys know is TikTok was not working for me. I ended up deleting the app, restarting my phone, and then re-downloading the app and everything. But like a couple days ago, I had some time to myself, so I decided oh, I'm going to get on and see if I can figure this out. Apparently, I've been banned. I mean, all it said was that I got a message, your TikTok account has been banned for violating community policies, whatever. And I'm like, I have no idea what I did. I have no idea what I did, you know, what I did wrong, but... I'm also thinking it might be for the best, at least right now, because, um, you know, we've got the, you know, our government officials, higher ups are trying to ban TikTok, and so I don't want to get in trouble for having I don't I don't even know how something like that would work but you know and so it's like it's no big deal and I wasn't able to get much on it anyway because it wasn't working for me and maybe that's why they banned me I don't know was because maybe they couldn't get it working and they figured just ban me and scrub. I don't know. But you would think they would have sent me an email or something saying, Hey, you know, this is not working. Um, try again later or something, you know. But, and so that's a bit disappointing, but... Also, I was planning on using it as more of a alternative to X slash Twitter. So, you know, not a big deal. But anyway, yeah, so that's the big news is the job didn't work out, but that's fine because I am going to, I'm in the process of going through all my stuff, getting ready, and yeah, I'll be going hopefully sometime in July, and so, 
and the icing is this time around, and this is what both Keith and this listener have said. Once I have that visa, nothing's gonna stop me. I can just go to the border, have them stamp my card, and I can walk on into the next stage of my life, which I'm really excited about, so. But yeah, if you, if you guys want to do something really super bad, pursue it as much as you can. If, if it ends up you can't do it, try maybe a different way of doing it, if that makes sense. But don't give up on your dreams because I did. Oh, well, I gave up on some of my dreams, but you never know. There might be a way I can get back into acting and or singing when I move to England. You never know. I will have all the freedom in all the world to do that. So I'm, I'm just hugely excited. So stay tuned to this channel. I'll keep you guys updated, and yeah, I love you guys so much for sticking with me. Thank you, and I will talk to you later. Bye.